everyone, it's Milky. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you will probably know that I was recently on vacation for two weeks and part of that vacation consisted of going to London. I was there for about three and a half days and I really had such an incredible time. It's such an amazing city. I completely fell in love and of course while I was there I did a lot of shopping and so I thought I would do a little haul video to show you guys the things that I got. I hope this will interest you, so yeah, let's get started. There were a couple of shops that I knew that I wanted to visit, and the first one of those, which was my biggest purchase in London, was da -da 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 -da, Vivian Westwood! I have loved Vivian Westwood jewelry for years. I've always wanted to own something, and I finally decided to take the plunge and get something because all her jewelry is so beautiful. I really wanted one of the logo necklaces, so like the Vivian Westwood logo with the moon and the cross and the... Yeah, whatever it is. So, it came in a beautiful sturdy bag. It also came in a box, but then something leaked on the box, so I had to throw it away. But luckily, there is still this cute little pouch that has the logo on here. Um, there were a number of necklaces that I wanted to look at. I browsed online and chose a few. And there was one that I really loved, but I wasn't sure how it would look in real life. However, luckily, I tried it on. It looked beautiful. I fell in love, and I got it. And it's this one. Um, I think it probably has some proper name. It's like a 3D version of their logo. Um, it's like a glass orb that's surrounded by the gold rings and the cross and then there are little jewels on it. And I'll pl post close-up photos so you can actually see what it looks like. But it's beautiful and I love it and I'm very happy. And actually this ended up being a belated birthday gift from my aunt so I'm really thankful for it and I just love this necklace so much. And I definitely want to get more Vivienne Westwood jewelry in the future because it's just so pretty, it's so elegant looking and gorgeous and I really love it. Another store I knew I wanted to check out was Lazy Oaf. They're a fairly small UK-based brand, but they've recently gained a lot of recognition, so you've probably heard of them. Um, I wasn't initially sure if I was going to buy anything, but one of their most recent collections was really my style, and I saw a few items that I really liked, and I went to the store to try them on, and I ended up liking them both, so here they are. Uh, the first item is this really cute gingham bustier style top. Uh, it has heart shaped buckles and a little heart embroidered and it's just a really cute top. It has a kind of cropped fit and it has a little ruffle on the bottom. This looks really cute with my white tennis skirt and I think it's just a really adorable piece. The only annoying thing is that the zipper on the back te has a tendency to come undone but I might just have to put, put a like eye and hook closure on here to stop that but yeah it's a really really cute top. The next item is one that I was even more uncertain about, and one that I definitely would not have purchased online because it's the sort of thing you need to try on, because they're pants. And pants often have a tendency to look weird, so it was best not to buy these online, but I went in the store and I tried them on, and they were beautiful, and I got them! They are these, da da da, magical, amazing looking two-tone pastel jeans. These are so cool and so weird, and I love them so much. Um, so, one leg is pink and one leg is blue, and the belt buckles are also contrasting colors, and then there are heart pockets on the back, and they're just like a regular length jean, I have them rolled up here a bit, and they sit high-waisted, and they're kind of loose at the bottom in the legs, so they're really comfy, and they're actually really flattering despite being so weird, and I really love them. Fun story with these pants, so when I purchased them I was given like a new pair and a bag and everything and on the bag it had my right size and everything, but I opened them up and they were the wrong size, so luckily I still had the next day in London to go and exchange them and actually get the right size pair and I'm happy that I actually got the pair that fits me. Another store which I really wanted to check out was Artbox. I, ever since I first heard of this store, like maybe eight years ago, I've wanted to go. They're a really cute stationery and cute things sort of store, and I just heard about them so much online that I couldn't not go. And when I went there, they had so many cute things, it was really hard to choose something to buy, but I thought it would be best to get something practical. I was really tempted to get a plushie or some other sort of pointless thing, but in the end I decided no, I need to get something that I will actually use because I have way too many plushies. And if you follow my personal account, you'll probably often see me complaining about wanting more cute room wear. And so I went and got a really cute t-shirt. 
and it's this one with cinnamon roll and carousels. You probably can't see the print all that well because it's very, very pastel and like dainty looking, so I'll post close-ups, but I saw this t-shirt and I immediately fell in love. It sort of had an angelic pretty feel in my opinion, I don't know, maybe because of the super pastel print and the carousels, but it's really cute, it's really comfy, I'm glad I got it. So some of you might also know that I really love Lush, I love their skincare, I love their bath products, and so of course the Oxford Street Lush shop was one that I couldn't pass by. So I went there and I got a lot of things, mostly just restocking some old favorites of mine. Um, I got some new cleansers because I'm running out of the current ones, and those are the Angels on Bare Skin and Dark Angels cleansers. These are my two favorite cleansers. I use them every day, the Angels on Bare Skin in the morning and then Dark Angels at night. Both really good cleansers, I highly recommend them. Also in the realm of skincare was their Oxford Street exclusive face mask, which is the Prince of Darkness mask. I've seen this mask online and I really wanted to get it, but of course they don't ship, so... I was really happy to get the chance to buy it in store, and it's a really amazing mask. Um, it looks really cool. It's black, and it has a very nice smooth texture, and it's slightly exfoliating. It slightly warms the skin. It smells amazing. I love this mask so much. Um, just a quick reading of the description on it. We're on a crazy train, heading for scrubbed up skin with a charcoal and sea salt packed into this mask. Really amazing mask. If you have the chance to try it out, I really suggest that you do. It's probably my favorite mask from Lush that I've ever tried, and I really highly recommend it. The next two things I got I was a bit surprised to see in store because I thought they were holiday exclusives. They are here in the US at least, and I can't find them online, but they are the Lord of Misrule shower wash and the Rose Jam shower wash. And these two are my favorite scents from Lush. I really love the Lord of Misrule and Rose Jam one, and I have the perfumes of both of these. And so I was really happy to see that they had their shower gels, and so I got a little sized one of each one. Next item I got was the damaged hair mask. Um, I really like the Lush hair masks. They're always super nourishing and they make my hair feel amazing. Um, with this, I just cut it into four pieces and then I take one of the pieces and dissolve it in water and it becomes like a conditioner-like consistency. So you just apply it onto your hair and let it sit and then your hair feels amazing and soft. I really recommend this one. I only got one actual bath product, and it looks a bit boring, but it's this Golden Slumber Bath Balm. It has a slightly golden sheen to it, and it doesn't look impressive, but it smells amazing. It smells like lavender and chamomile, and it's just so soothing and lovely. I really like this, and I'm hoping that it'll be nice in the bath, and that it'll look maybe just a bit more interesting than this, but even if it doesn't, I can't complain because it smells really nice. Another place I really wanted to visit was Minamoto Kichuan, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not sure, but they're a Japanese wagashi place, which is traditional Japanese sweets. Uh, I've seen photos of traditional Japanese sweets online, and they're always so beautiful and look so delicious, I really wanted to try them out, and so I got a lot of things, I've eaten a lot of things, these are the only two things I have left. I have a box of white peach mochi, the box of this is just so pretty, and it's just really nice. There are eight pieces inside. And yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these. I haven't tried them yet. And then the next thing that I have left over is this chestnut and azuki bean cake thing. It looks a bit like a moon cake, and yeah, I'm excited to try it out. I also got a really yummy sakura azuki crepe that was really delicious, and then we got a variety of jellies to try. Those were all also really good. Um, they're quite pricey, but I think it's definitely worth stopping by if you're ever in London and you have a desire for Japanese sweets. I know they also have several locations in the US, but obviously not in Florida, so yeah, probably one of my only chances in the near future for trying these sweets, but I'm excited to try these two things that I have left. So while in London, I went to afternoon tea in Sketch, which has been a dream place of mine to go to for years, and I was really happy. It was a really, really amazing afternoon tea service, and of course, they had very delicious cheap teas. Uh, conveniently enough, their tea supplier was right next door, and so I tried one tea, which was amazing and delicious, and so of course, I went and I bought it, because... That's what you do when you're me and you love tea. So the brand is called the East India Tea Company. 
no, just the East India Company, London, and the tea is called First Romance. So they describe it as light and bright, evoking the promise of spring and the excitement of a first romance, laced with strawberry, mango, and orange. This is a black tea, and it just has a really lovely, lovely taste and fragrance, and I really liked it. It was a bit pricey, but it's a decent amount of tea, and I'm really looking forward to enjoying this and remembering my wonderful time in Sketch. Also, while I was in London, I went to a lot of museums, one of those being the Tate Modern Museum. And the museum was really interesting, of course, but they also had a lovely gift shop with a really big selection of books. They had a lot of really pretty editions of books, and I saw a copy of 1984, and it was just such a pretty looking copy of this book, I just had to get it. Um, I really like this book, even though it's quite grim and depressing, but it's a good book, it's well written. I've read it several times, and I thought I would get this really beautiful looking copy. It's just so pretty, and the pages are red. Well, not the actual pages, but the binding. And yeah, just a nice book. The last two purchases are actually ones I got at the duty-free part of the airport on the way home. Um, the first thing I got are these pistachio and clotted cream biscuits from Fortnum and Mason. Um, they have a really beautiful department store with a lot of really pretty food. I was only able to stop by briefly in the actual shop because I was in a bit of a rush, but it was really pretty and they have a lot of really pretty biscuits and teas and cakes and etc etc. Lots of really pretty and delicious looking things and they actually had their stuff at the airport too, so I picked up these biscuits because I really love pistachios and they come in this lovely metal tin with like a golden monkey on it and it's really cool and I'm really excited to try these out. The last item I got, it's a bit weird to put in a haul, but it's this Roku Jin, which is a Japanese gin that's infused with sakura, yuzu, sencha, sancho pepper, sakura leaf, and gyokuro tea. Uh, in London I can actually buy alcohol, and so of course I couldn't pass up the chance to get something. Uh, I had a taste of this while at the airport and it was really delicious, and so I thought I would get it, even though it's really big and I don't know if I'm ever going to finish it, but yeah. So yeah, that's everything that I got while in London, except for a t-shirt from Uniqlo, which is in the wash, but oh well. It has pom-pom purin, it's cute, but oh. Yeah, I hope you liked seeing everything that I got. I had such an amazing time in London, and I wish I could have spent longer there, but hopefully I can return in the near future. Yep, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye!